Alright, well, I walked outside to find this sitting on my porch earlier. I didn't know it had come because the mailman was actually really quiet. But this is April's loot gaming crate, so I guess I might as well open it up on camera and see what's inside. If I can with one hand, because, you know, filming hard and knife no cut. But hopefully it's got some cool stuff in it. I'm trying not to make a vertical uh, and one vertical. Dang it. Well, either way, let's see what we've got. I'll be putting the phone down a lot, probably. So, draw my sweet red pants. Hmm. Oh, okay. I have no way to really display these things. Alright, that is very hard to see on camera. You probably can't tell, but in the corner it says Bioshock 2. So it's a Rapture Bioshock shirt. That looks cool. Probably end up wearing that eventually. Let's see what's next. I don't know. Here's Edge Catalyst. It says it's an LED watch. Which, if it is a watch, cool. I need one. Guess we'll see how that looks afterwards. Ooh, it's even got. Can't really tell because camera no focus. Here's Edge designs on the watch itself and stuff. Hmm, cool. Now, uh, what's next? Ooh, a metro button. That's cool. If I hang this up somewhere, I'll end up never wearing it because I don't wear pins or buttons or anything, but still cool. Here it's got the engraving April 2016 on it. A star's hat, a crocheted cap. It's cool. I don't wear hats because. They mess with my hair a lot, so I'll probably just hang this up somewhere and let that be that. Ooh, the division case. I don't know what's in here. Ruby Workshop, okay. I never bought the division, so I don't so much care for division stuff, but we'll see what's in it. Hmm. Biohazard sign on the top, and... I can get it in the light and focus. A little tiny AK-47 that says Division on it. Yeah, that's literally all it is. is a little tiny toy AK-47 saying the Division. Or, I say AK-47, but it's whatever the model of the gun is in the game. I don't know. Never played it. But that's still cool looking. Ooh, a Fallout 4, come on, focus. Metal art preview. It is the Lone Survivor, or whatever they're called, or the Vault Dweller, Blue and Dog, near the giant building. I forget what it's called. I actually think I know where that is in game. I might go find it. That's cool. I'm supposed to keep this away from babies and children. Okay, the soul survivor, that's what he's called. Hmm. This will definitely be going up on my wall. That's cool. And the last thing in here, yeah, the last thing in here, the book says Metro, welcome to the city. Oh, cool. 
an exclusive skin for a game I don't own. Awesome. I'm gonna go find the code so I'm not accidentally showing it. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'll get an email with the code so it's safe to be showing all this. Hmm. Oh, this just seems like division stuff, like Q&As and info and little stories and stuff. Oh, it's a USB drive, didn't know that. 16 gigabyte USB drive. Cool, so this just shows everything that's in here. Yeah, I don't care about the dark zone. Ooh, yes, it is a watch. Twelve to eighteen month battery, nice. Cool. Yeah, just the stars beaming. Already got that. I already figured that out. Hundred percent acetate, waffle knit. Six by nine. That's cool. This one just shows some basic pros and cons of the different factions. Oh, that's cool. Now that I can actually actually see that it's a big daddy in the design couldn't really tell that because of the lighting in here oh that's cool yeah just a regular pin by it oh man guess I didn't get the epic drop sadly uh, featured looters, just a bunch of people. Alright, hmm. Well. That was... This loot crate. Uh, it just says dead inside. I was hoping it would say don't open dead inside. Or don't dead open inside. But yeah, I guess that pretty much wraps it up for this little Loot Crate unboxing. I hope my shipping information didn't show up on camera, but I'll worry about that later. So, for now, adios. Alright, so, <clears throat> finally tested out this dumb watch. It works. It's really confusing because everything's centralized around this one button on the inside. Push the button once, turns it on, shows the time it is. I managed to get it set. Put it again, shows you the date. And then, seconds in the minute. A lot of it's blocked by the little black texture stuff, so you gotta kinda hope you're seeing it right. Something I found that if you push the button too many times too fast, it will fully reset everything you set. And this thing has really annoying instructions for setting time if it would focus focus wow it says green for focus it is not focused at all come on work why are you not working well whatever I can't show you it because it's not focusing but, pretty much all you do is you hold that little button, it'll start flashing the numbers, and then you just tap the button to set them, slowly hold the button, go further and further. It fits very nice though. No issues at all, very comfortable. Let's just hope it performs well in duty, and hope it lasts as long as the thing says it does.
yeah, I guess that's it for my one follow-up video on this. The only thing I need to follow up on.